On Friday, 26 July 2024, news circulated that another high-profile resignation had taken place at the Citizenship by Investment Unit, the CIU. The company or corporate secretary said to have resigned. The reported resignation comes months after the chairman of the board, Lon Theophilus, is said to have also resigned. This is yet to be confirmed even by the Minister for Investment, Dr. Ernest Stiller. The minister, in addressing the question on Power 97's Situation Room on Monday, July 29, failed to give a direct response. However, speaking to the reported resignation of the corporate secretary, had this to say. A local reporter in St. Lucia who is calling members of staff of the unit, threatening them, they're threatening people if you don't resign, that they will expose you, they will do this, terrorizing people. Dr. Hilaire was making reference to this reporter. Following his appearance on the show, I posed a few questions to the Deputy Prime Minister. Dr. Hilaire, may I have a word? You want to have a word with me? Yes, please. You'll be calling CIP, threatening people, asking people to resign? No, no, Minister, you should not say that. I shouldn't say that? No, because there's no truth to that. Sorry, you didn't call CIP? Minister, ah. Minister, you should not yeah. say that I called and threatened anyone oh, because yeah. there is no truth to that and you know that. Uh. You know that. No, I don't know. I'm asking you. So you. I had a conversation me. with the so did company Martinez secretary. Give, did Martinez give you the questions to ask? No, minister. No uh, one gives okay. me questions to ask anyone, okay. and you should know that. Well, I was surprised, and I must say. You should know how I operate, minister. Yeah. I'm an above board individual, just like you. Yeah. Above board. Okay. I will never, ever call and threaten anyone. It's not in my nature, and okay. you should know that as well. Yeah, well but those, I, those who do it, tell them to stop it, if you can. Well, That's if if I know who they are, and if you point me in the direction, yeah, I will. I will, I will most like. I will most yeah. certainly do that for you. Yeah. But I do want to ask you about the corporate secretary. Is there any truth that she has resigned, Minister? Well, when I last spoke to her, she's still corporate secretary, and as far as I know, she will continue to be corporate secretary. Where, where did this come from? Can you tell me? Well, like you, I saw the article. Ah. Just like you, I saw the article. Yeah. yeah. But I, I want to ask, and, and, and because I called the corporate secretary to ask her whether there was any truth to the uh, statement that very soon in the amendment to the RICO suit uh, that there will be some 200 documents that will be coming before the court. And those documents will have some evidence that there was underpricing. What I asked the corporate secretary but how would you, was, you, was... I've never heard that. Where did you get that from? Sources, <laughs> Minister. You're All sources. journalists and yeah. politicians have sources. Yes, yes. No, well, I, I never heard and, that one. And so I was asking her whether those documents would have come through her desk. That was my question to the corporate secretary. And so I'm going to, to ask you, is there any veracity at all I have no to idea. that statement? I think your sources probably can best answer that question. I have no idea about it. How do you feel about Martinez's um, intent to name you as a defendant in the RICO case? Hey. Listen, let me tell you something. Um, the, the last government seized my vehicle, charged me. They wrote to the authorities overseas, asking them to investigate me. They asked for them to get access to all my Gmail, um, all my emails, so they could read it. I have been a source, and a ta I've been a target of the last um, government in the opposition now. Um, they've made me a major target. Um, it's no secret that the leader opposition is in love with me. Um, you know, every single day, the United Workers Party attacked me on Facebook, and every single day I wake up with a bright smile on my face, say my prayers, and set out and work as hard as I can. While the minister is focused on his deliverables, the nation awaits responses to critical questions, including the number of allocated files to Caribbean Galaxy on its real estate project. The minister insists that government cannot give details of commercial agreements. The minister did, however, promise an interview to this reporter in the soonest possible time to discuss the issues surrounding the CIP.